And soon was it ain't looked at in bad. It was time, my friends, to continue with the story at the critical moment of the assembly of the Denmark, where we were to face against uh, the treacherous Sigurd Snake in the eye and his legal trickery. Hopefully we've made enough friends in these lands to uh, support us. Yes, I think we have. So let's uh, let the assembly... Oh, it's late at night. It's not that late at night. The sun's already dawn. It's already dawn. Wake up, you lazy Danes! I am up all night. I never need sleep, apparently. Ah, early morning. Now, if you're not ready then, yes. In a setting reminiscent of times past, when men lifted huge rocks to venerate their dead or glorify their gods, meets the assembly. As you approach, you hear, hear more clearly hundreds of voices distinguish the, t distinguish the tents. And distinguish the tents? Yeah, okay. And the smell of the food from one of the merchant sands. The assembly, or the thing, is not just a meeting where issues are discussed, judgments are made, but also an event where people go around and exchange and sell their news and products. Yes, it's quite a thing, the thing. Ta da da dum 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 ta da da dum. Yeah. I uh, thought this place would be more impressive. Oh, it's over there. Oh, I thought this place would be more impressive. And this time there's not an excuse that I'm not in the wrong spot. I mean, huge rocks? Look at these, I can lift these rocks. I can even throw these rocks. With my manly vigor. Oh, who approaches? Eagle. Hello, traitor. My lord, you must jo hurry and join the king. Follow me. All right. Yes, go on. Make yourself followable. Sigurd shouts, I have more than 800 men ready to go to England in support of my brother, but all I hear is obstacles of the men embarking of it. Sigurd, we don't prevent the embarking of these men. In fact, we are unhappy they have not already left. Sven the Ah, there's that bastard. These men will embark when they are Hollywood have a proper leader. Guthrum is not a proper leader. The thing has begun. Approach uh, King Horik. Well, these are just old men shouting at each other. Hire Ekbert Dilrik. Next word. Why have you been so long in coming? Sigurd Ragnarsson is looking strong. Well, if I break his legs, he won't look that strong. Or poke out his little snaky eyes. I came as uh, soon as I got your message. Maybe it was the messenger who was delayed. No matter. I think we they have, are they are also awaiting your arrival, which means that maybe I should not have sent for you. I suspect they have some ploy to launch. Sigurd Ragnarsson has complained about uh, of 800 men who cannot board because I will not let them. I will not lead them, actually. That's the word. That much is true. Because I propose that Guthrum lead them. The problem is that Guthrum, Guthrum some days ago suffered the misfortune to have, have been killed on his farm. They accuse outlaws and criminals of burning down his house whilst he was hosting a feast inside. Ah yes, I've been on the receiving end of that. That seems like a horrible trick by a horrible lord called Sigurd Snake in the eye. I think that was Sven, that it was Sven the Bullneck, actually. The Prowman of, of Sigurd here, who did it. But I have no evidence, no or witnesses. Everything and everyone was burned within the house. Everything taken together. The situation is quite serious. Since Guthrum is dead, Sigurd is pushing hard to gain control of those 800 men. I fear he wishes to use them to take my throne. Nothing is lost. We have thought it all of Sigurd's plan so far, and now I will thoroughly kick him in the crotch. Okay, we'll see. Sigurd is the most cunning of all the children of Ragnar. Harold seems tense, his features hardened, and the eyes watchful. He protects his lord as close as his shadow. Greetings, expert Dirk. 
Sven the Bullneck has, per has permission to speak to the assembly now. Let's see what that rat has to say. Silence! Let's see what the snake has to say. Sven the Bullneck, that, that deep learned bastard, appears to be a determined man, confident, and seemingly a born leader. He is tall and strong and professes a strong voice. At long last you see him, face to face. He looks just as your mind remembers him as he attacked the Vodon Rick and kidnapped your mother. Finally, right before you, is the man who damaged you. Man of Denmark, you know me. When I was little more than a child, I was with Ragnar. When he sacked Francia with 120 ships and more than 4,000 men. An adventure that the scouts still relate. I am the man who led 400 Vikings in the West Seax, the strongest of the kingdoms of Anglerland, to obtain the great fame and wealth. Therefore, men fear me across Frise, Anglerland, and Francia. But here in Denmark, they frightfully respect and love me. I had a brother, Ulfir Whitehair, a better man than me. He was a man of honor, loved by the gods, but in the prime of his life he was murdered. Now the king protects his murderer. I have never demanded anything of the assembly, but now I call for justice. It is right that his murderer be here among Is it right that his murderer be here amongst us? Or that the king protects, uh, protects evil? Shall murderers go unpunished in his land? Sven the Bullneck has tears in his eyes, he points to you with an piercing finger. Ah, oh, such wretched theatrics! This is what I, what we suspected. They will, they used the attack on King Hall to undermine his authority. One judge near Big Rock looks first at Sven and Jarl Sigurd, and then at you and King Hall. Then he speaks. Everyone knows your worth. Sven the, Sven the Bullneck and the feats you have done in your past but your words seem to indicate that the king could support a murderer this chance is very grave the assembly shall now listen to King Horik's response <clears throat> Sven insults me I have never protected nor will I ever protect a murderer if that's, uh, that were what I was doing it was in ignorance Eckbert Direct came to me for protection as a free man, and I gave it to him after he proved his worth. The story he told me about the death of Ulf Hair, uh, Sib White Hair, is quite different. Now it is the time for the accused to speak on this matter. Hmm. I think we should uh, reveal uh, Sven Bullnick's lies. My name is Eckbert Direct! Olvir Whitehair tried to kill me at the behest of his brother, Sven the Bullneck. I was at peace on Ulven Ulf's farm, where I had gone by agreement with Sigurd Ragnarsson. Present here today, Ulvir Whitehair came there with several men to try and kill me, as I always take strong issue with such project. It was Ulf Olvir who died, I ask you. Why did Sven send Ulvir if he was the one who wants to get rid of me? I think it's because he fears me. Despite all of his bold words, he is in fact a coward who attacks defenseless ships and hides behind the cloak of his lord. Well spoken. I think you've left him speechless. We have heard from both parties. It's time to call the witnesses. Eagles comes forward before the judges. I am Eagle. You all know me here. And may the gods damn you, damn me if I lie. I was at Ulf's farm when Ulvir Whitehair came. My father, King Horik, is always concerned about what happens in, his, uh, in this land. He compelled me to travel with Ekbert Dirik. Ulvir Whitehair came with many men. I swear, it was he who started the fight. Ulvir died, in, died a good death. But he was the one who caused the melee. Ekbert Dirk isn't, isn't guilty of murder. The judges confer amongst themselves for a moment, and then the spoken speak. 
We have heard from a witness. Thank you, Eagle. Sven de Boomdak, do you have any witnesses? Uh, well, I heard an important witness, Uf Thorison. But he has not come to the assembly. And the other man told me, told me how my brother was killed. But he will not testify in this case. We would like to hear from the Jarls in attendance. What are your opinions? I do not have enough information to assess for or against. In my opinion, Egbert Dirk is guilty of murdering Olvir, Olvir Whitehair. I do not have enough information to go for or against. In my opinion, Egbert Dirk is guilty of murdering Olvir Whitehair. Well, that's a lot of uh, against. The judges confirmed amongst himself for a long time, and then spoke and speak. Invoking the wisdom of Odin, we are ready to give we are ready to give verdict. I, I, Sigurd, son of Ragnar Lothbrok, ask permission to speak, because this case is nothing more than a branch on a big tree, and a branch may hide the real problem. Speak then, Jarl Sigurd, son of Ragnar, whose memory we all cherish, and who awaits us among the hosts of the gods preparing for Ragnarok. Sigurd stepped forth. Checking everyone's attention, he is respected and feared man. The shadow left by his father is still warm. When my father was alive, this assembly of free men would not have such much consideration for a bandit who had killed a good man like Ulfair Whitehair. However, times change. Rather, some men have caused that change. Now this thing, this assembly, is not but a toy in the hands of the king. That man, Ackbert Dirk, is only a pawn of larger forces. While Sigurd continues his speech, Harald approaches the King Hork, his face tense and first up. My King, Sigurd, uh, Sigurd, Snake in the Eye is not here to deal with Ackbert Dirk. He wants you. He wants the throne, as we feared. And further, we should cut short Sigurd's speech. Ekbert Dirk must admit guilt or be punished by the assembly. He must be sacrificed at the end of his ploy now, or you may lose this, lose your throne. Sigurd Snake in the Eye is a shrewd man. He would not openly attack you if in the assembly if he, he would not have the upper hand. Now come down, we will be allowed to reply to Sigurd and you can trust and can trust in the assembly. The assembly's decision will rest on the position of power between the parties, hence we must not uh, do anything that would cost us the respect of the assembly. The balance of power is very delicate. Here the Jarls are very important. We need to see what Sigurd has against us. <coughs> Sigurd's face seems undeterred, even as moments of speech in his body is fully controlled as he releases his speech that's able to dethrone a king. Sven hath a witness, Ulf Thorison, who would have agreed that Orve was murdered. King Horrocks and Ekvar Dirk to Ulf's farm to silence him. I had another man, Adli Eriksson, who was very faithful and dear to me. I entrusted him with a mission of protecting important evidence for this assembly, but King Horrex sent Ekbert Dirk to kill him. Everybody starts talking at the words of Sigurd. A lot of tension fills the air. Finally, the judges ask for calm. But King Horrex's face is livid. Sigurd Ragnar's son, you talk a lot. Insult and offend my honor, but you lack evidence of or witnesses. This will not end well for you. Let him finish. All of us here want to know what is happening. I just defend my honor. Yes, he has the right and permission to speak. If it proves uh, what he speaks of, it may be time of a change of kingship. King Horik is a good king. You better not be able to prove. You better be able to prove this, Sigurd. Everything will come in time. But first, I want to continue my assertion that the problem is much bigger what we th than what we think. 800 Vikings are ready to embark for England in aid of my brothers. We could have been talking about, about more than 1,200 men for the, 
for the Jarl of Canemar promised me more than 400. But King Horex sent Eckbert Dirk to Frieza to sabotage this treaty. As if it were not enough, the king then proposed that Guthrum lead these men when I was the one who made all the efforts to gather them and get the boats and provisions. Sigurd Ragnarsson, your accusation is very serious. Do you have evidence or witnesses who can confirm what you say? Yes, there's a man who traveled with Ekbert Dirk all that time, who is amongst us right now, willing to testify at this assembly. His name is Reginald, and he is a servant of the Jarl of Kadama. Reginald, approach. Do you confirm the words of Sigurd Ragnarsson are true? Reginald seems uncomfortable with all eyes turns to him. He especially tries to avoid your eyes. I will... yes, right. I met Ekbert Dirk in Friese when he tried to gain the trust of the Jarl of Canaver by killing Thethard, a person that I loved. When he betrayed the Jarl of Canaver and, and, but he betrayed the Jarl of Canaver and came to Denmark, where he pursued Sven de Bullnark and Sigurd Ragnarsson, as he hates them as enemies. So Ulve and Atli were killed, and he allied with King Horik. I swear it is the truth. Eagle services are serious now. It's like, Reginald, why? Reginald looks down. My quarrel is not with you, Eagle. Thedat was like a brother to me, and Egbert Dirk lied to me in order to take him and kill him. I won Egbert Dirk's trust and promised that one day he would, I would revenge the death. And that day has come! I just want to be happy and have a farm and a wife and children, but Ekbert Dirk brings only misfortune wherever he goes. I need to feel protected, and Sigurd has promised me everything that I wish for. You betrayed Sigurd, and now you are betraying me! You are the cursed one, Reginald! I am damned. For this reason, I need to begin my life anew, far away from you or Friesel. King Horik, Sigurd Ragnarsson has made a very serious allegation, supported by witnesses. What do you say in your defense? I do not know this man named Sir Reginald. I suspect he is a liar brought by Sigurd, and he seems to have some sort of dispute with Ekbert Dirk. At any rate, his testimony was not against me, but against Egbert Dirk, since he has no way mentioned me or shown that I have helped Egbert Dirk in any misdeeds. If this is all Sigurd Ragnarsson has against me, I ask this assembly for compensation for insults of my honor. The gods know that you were eliminating my evidence and witnesses. When you sent your dog after Earthly Eriksson, Ulf Thorens and Ulf Thorsen. This man was with Ekbert Dirk. He can testify that you were involved. Well, actually, let me count to this. First of all, Reginald Worf, first master, was Thedert, not the Jarl of Kalimar. He betrayed him. Reginald betrayed his first master, Thedert. As now he betrays me, would any man of a known enemy of his herd? This man has just demonstrated he cannot be trusted! Now this is a very delicate matter and may affect, affect the stability of the kingdom. The judges are retired to deliberate for a moment. You watch as the judges be, get behind the big rock before entering a heated discussion. All around you, everyone engaged in energetic conversation. Some Jarl support King Horik. Our support supports Jarl Sigurd Ragnarsson. This assembly may either be a solution to civil war, or what triggers the start of one. Everything depends on the judge's decision. You realize that no one approaches you. Everyone avoids you like the plague. You are aware also that nobody gave you opportunity to present the case of the abduction of your mother. You feel that you have you feel you have not been more than a piece in the game of Hefnerk between some powerful men in Denmark. Yes, and I hate this! The judges are slow to come to a decision. You are not sure how, many, how much time has passed, but it seems it takes them very, a very, very long time. time. Many men 
around you have decided to sit on the ground. And there are even some merchants distributing food and meat. Reginald remains in the same spot, silent and without moving, a muscle, as if carved in granite. Egil doesn't look at you either. He is among the men around King Horak, advising him, advising and encouraging him. Finally, the judges return from behind the big rock. Good. Odin Fjordvier, Odin Stanfrogal, father of the gods and the Skjelding, we elected by a pair's call upon your wisdom to guide our words. May our judgments reach your ears, and may those who do not comply with it be punished by hell. We have decided the following. In the case of the death of Ophir Whitehair, this assembly rules that Akvar Dirk acted in self-defense and declare him innocent. What? This is not justice. This assembly pisses on the grave of my brother. Secret, secret directions and pushes Sven back and takes the floor. Uh, Sven the Bullneck accepts the decision of this assembly. Well, the assembly has spoken before gods and men. This quarrel has ended between these two men. Odin, Thor, Frey have heard what is decided. May they punish those who do, those who do not fulfill their oaths. Regarding the case of the witness, witness called Reginard, who has been accused of lying, the gods must decide his culpability, as the accusation is grave. This assembly has decided that Egbert Dirk and Reginard shall engage in Holmgang, a duel to the death, on the islands of called Short, within six days. Two will go, only one will return. If one of them fails to show up, he will be declared nithering, a coward, less than a man, and he will not. He will be told by scald and messages to all men in Denmark and across. I accept your decision of the assembly. I look forward for my vengeance. And I accept the decision of the assembly too. I am no liar, but I regret having been a traitor. I am very sorry, Akbar Tirk. You are sorry too late. Well then. The assembly is over. Important men of Denmark will come and get you and take you to Short Island to face your opponent. Odin, Thor, Frey have heard what has been here. Here has been decided. May they punish any who do not fulfill their oaths. This assembly has also decided on the last major issue. The accusation and insult between King Horik and Jarl Sigurd can cause serious damage to Denmark. Therefore, this assembly of free men, which is above Jarls and kings and answers only to the gods, has decided that the reconciliation between the two must occur. King Horik will give Jarl Sigurd a position on his council amongst his most beloved men. Moreover, King Horik will pay 15,000 penningkats in compensation for all the efforts made by Sigurd in organizing this expedition. In return, Jarl Sigurd shall remain by King Horik, advising him and not leaving Denmark. Therefore, Jarl Sigurd Ragnarsson must relinquish control of the fleet and shall relieve his brethren. To, and shall relieve his brethren. This fleet shall be led by two other men, Sven de Bulnek on the part of Jarl Sigurd and Harald Haraldsson on the part of King Horik. The fleet will depart for Engeland in a few days without further delay. It is furthermore our decision that Egbert Dirk shall join as an advisor of Harald Haraldsson as long as the gods give him the victory in the Holmgang. Otherwise, Eagle takes Egbert Dirk's place, place at, uh, at the hurt. One of the others should meet with me in the meat hall in Ribe once the Holmgang is over. Another judge takes the floor as he shifts the gaze from one uh, party to another. The assembly, representing the gods of three men of Denmark, has spoken. These two, these two other parties, right? King Horik, Jarl Sigurd? I accept the judgment of the assembly. I will fulfill my part, as has been decreed. I swear that I will uphold and enforce it. King Horik quickly accepts more control over the, action, over the actions of Jarl Sigurd. 
Jarl's Sieger Ragnarsson shows no sign of either satisfaction or dissatisfaction. I also accept the decision of the assembly. I swear I will uphold and enforce it. Odin for a fray, yeah, don't fulfill the oaths. Hey, it went on with those things a long while. And so came the assembly to an end, with my innocence declared. And the bastard, Reginald, showing himself a traitor. But next, but well, next time I will tell you of my bloody vengeance against, um, what's, uh, Reginald, yes, that bastard. And then, uh, we will join, uh, Harald Hudson on the great trip and the uh, whole army to Angerland. It will be exciting to go there once more. So until then, 